have technology. It didn't work. That used to be me every single time I ran into a Cores error until I realized just how easy it is to fix these errors. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Cores so you never have to run into these types of errors. Here's a quick example of a Cores error. As you can see, I just have a simple script file that's running on my client. It's accessing our server, trying to get some data, and it's trying to print that data out. And on our server, you can see we have that data response. We're just using Express to set up the server, listening on port 3000. And as you can see, when we're trying to fetch from localhost 5500 to localhost 3000, it's saying that we cannot fetch that because of cores, and it's saying that no access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. And that tells you exactly what you need to do to fix cores. In order to allow a request to go from one origin to another, so for example, localhost port 5500 to localhost 3000, we need to tell the browser, hey, we allow requests to come from other URLs. And this is what the access control allow origin allows us to do. It says, where do you allow requests to come from? So our server is telling our client, hey, these are the allowed URLs that are able to access us. By default, the only allowed URL is the same origin that you come from. So we can make requests from our current origin, but when you're trying to make requests from a different origin, you need to specify the origins that are allowed. Now, in order to do this setting of the header inside of Express, we're gonna be using a library called cores to do that. And I'll show you the before and after of what happens. We go to the network tab here, we can see that this data request is being made. And if I just try to come in here and look at the different headers, you can see that my response headers has nothing to do with that application or access control allow origins. You can see it doesn't exist anywhere inside of here. But if we install that cores library, so we say npm i cores, that's just gonna install those for Express. There's a million different ways to do this depending on what library you're using. So if you're using Express, it's gonna be this cores library. If you're using like Python or Go, there's gonna be their own library, or you can manually set the headers on your own. But we can just say app.use cores, and this is a function. And the first thing we're gonna to pass to it is our origin. And this is the origin of the client that we allow, which we know is just localhost 5500. So now if I just make sure that I take cores and require that cores library and I save, you can see that if we go over to our console, we're still getting that request error. And that's because this origin has a value of localhost 5500, but it's not equal to 127.0.0.1 because that's our actual URL. So let's say 127.0.0.1. Now when we save, you can see it actually prints out the data instead of giving us a cores error. And if we come in here, let's just make sure we refresh all this, open up our data, and you can see we have an access control allow origin, and it has the actual URL that we're trying to make the request from. So our server is saying, hey, you know what, if you're coming from this you know, origin, then we allow any requests to come up. But let's say this is 5501, that's now a different origin. So now we're getting that error because it's saying, hey, you know what, you're not equal to the allowable origins. Also, if you want to allow any origin at all, just put a star inside of here. And now if we save this with just a star, you can see that the data is coming through just fine. And that's because our access allowed origins here, we come in here, our access control allowed origin is for every single thing. It's because we have a star here. Now this works great when it comes to things like Git and post request. This is gonna solve all of your problems for cores immediately. But if you need to do something like a put request, so if we change this to a put and then inside of here, we just make our method a put method. Well, now we actually have a different problem that we're gonna run into. You'll notice if we come in here, let's just change this back to HTTP 127.0.0.1 port 550, and we click save here, and we go over to our console. You'll notice it's printing everything out just fine. If we go over to our network tab though, and we go to this other section, you're gonna notice we also have these things called options request. And an options request is essentially a pre-flight request. Whenever we do something like a put or we do something like a delete, we're gonna to need to do this options request to make sure we're allowed to do this put and this delete. And if we scroll down to the response headers, you'll see this access control request method. It's saying, hey, I want to make a put request. Am I allowed to do that? And if you scroll up, you're gonna see that we also respond with access control allowed methods. And by default, this is returning everything, git, head, put, patch, post, delete. So it's saying we're allowed to do all these different types of things. Well, inside of cores, we can actually change our methods. So we can just say methods we can pass it in an array. So we could say, you know what, only allow git and post request, no put, no none of that. And now when I save and I go to the console, we're getting a cores error. And that's because we're trying to use the method put, but it's not being allowed. If we go to that options, you can see that we only are allowing git and post. 
and that doesn't match the put that we're trying to actually do a request on. We can use this methods to fine tune what different things we allow other URLs to actually do. By default, it's allowing everything with this cores library, but we could say, you know, only do git and post and no puts are gonna be allowed, or we could remove that. And now this will actually successfully work because put is being allowed. Now, the final thing that I wanna talk about with cores is going to be how you can actually send up cookies because by default, cookies are blocked. If we come into here, we can just say that we want to pass in credentials and we just say include and that's going to include our credentials in the request and you notice we immediately get cores issues again because we don't have an access control allow credentials header so we need to set this access control allow credentials header on the server this is as easy as just saying with i'm sorry credentials and setting that to true that is going to set this access control allow credentials and if we go to our network and we go and we scroll down here you'll see access control allow credentials is set to true that's all there is to cores. If you're interested in more security related videos, they're gonna be linked over here and a full written version of this video is also linked down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.